All right. So, oh man, I just checked that whole thing. Oh, so the real story is gonna come out. It's five o'clock somewhere. All right, so you guys wanna know how our week went, right? How did our week go? This is the week 12 recap, y'all, which means I've survived another week. You've survived another week <laughs> with me, technically. This means I'm 11 weeks in, which means I have six weeks and three days left to go. Counting down <clears throat> the days. Counting down the days. Um, this week, I got my girls earlier. So, um, you know, every other week I have my girls. So this week was a week with the girls. It's a pretty uneventful week, right? It was <laughs> not uneventful. There wasn't like anything massive that happened. We stayed in every single night, literally. We didn't oh, leave one night. In terms of like doing things, true. Uneventful. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of eventful things, like fun things that happened this week. What were some we got our things? first snow. It started to oh, snow. Oh, that's true. We did snow. Uh, kids were not in school that much because their tutor was sick. Mm -hmm. What else happened? Yeah. Yeah, so I had to do daddy daycare and take care of my business at the same time. Oh, you did the food challenge where you smelled like garlic so bad. That is an event. Now your wives, you like garlic. Do your wives like the smell of garlic? Oh, she hates it. <laughs> See, that's she, what I was gonna ask. She has no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> she has to go into quarantine. Now. She thought I was going to work. <laughs> It's just to make you quarantine until the garlic smell is gone. I hear so many women, my girlfriend hates it too. I'm like, I don't really smell it. I mean, I, I, I taste it, but do I really smell that bad? Mm. Like, you know? My wife always does that. It seeps through my pores. <laughs> it was very, very garlicky. Oh my And I brought gosh. some home for my friends that night because I had a guy's night that night. I brought some home for my, my, my boys and my whole car just smelled like garlic all night. And, and then his face. My, I like washed my face, days. but just like it comes out of your pores. So it was a lot of garlic and my stomach was upset that night. But it was really good food. And yeah, I enjoyed it, to be honest with you. Enjoyed it. I didn't throw up. I just, I did, I did have a stomach ache the rest of the night though. Mm. Yeah. And early the next morning a little bit. Right. But yeah, other than that, very uneventful, Julie. It was not freaking okay. uneventful. Okay, talk about drama. Uh, no well, it's not week. drama. It's just the changes. Changes. What changes? That are happening with you. Changes are happening to Drew yeah. in his personality. Is that fair to say? Yeah. He doesn't think it, but he, well, you're just so different. No, I, I, here's the thing. I am aware of being a little bit different. I am more reactive. I do notice my blood pressure rising when like, I'm in a stressful situation. My daughters aren't listening. Think and you get into an argument. No. No, I'm not throwing myself on the ground crying and screaming. <laughs> no, I just am more reactive in those moments. So I know I'm like, ah, like I'm just, why am I getting so annoyed so quickly? Oh, that's a, that's oh, a new development. Okay, what? Anytime I say like, I have a great idea or hey, how about something? Drew goes, oh. <sighs> it is annoying. <sighs> There's like, you don't even want to hear my great ideas. That's not what it is. It's, it's. It's like, hey, I have another thought. And I know that's not going to be a quick thought. It's going to be a long, drawn-out <laughs> argument for days. And I'm that's like, not okay. true. All oh, the guys out there, they can relate. That's <laughs> not true. I'm trying to express my feelings in a loving way instead of psh, psh, And sometimes they go, oh, by the way. So anyways, and it makes me not want to talk to you. Okay, so what events happened this week that you wanted to discuss in front of the audience? <laughs> what? Well, when well. you put it like that, um, see, not a lot. Well, no, I'm just trying to think of how to okay. nicely word it. Okay. Okay. So I think what's happening in our relationship is I am slowly leveling out. Like I'm starting to feel like my normal self again. Don't do that look, I am. Okay. And I'm a little more stress free. So I'm becoming a lot more aware of Drew and how much you're struggling and how different he is. And unfortunately, the problems that we had before in our relationship are lingering, not necessarily because of me, but because, you know, you're still holding on to some stuff, which is okay. But there was an interesting story that came out okay, today on the phone. This really is interesting. Okay. We were talking about things that 
you know, we would like to see change in our relationship. Communication probably being the first thing. Um, and you said something that you've actually said a couple of times, but I didn't pick up on it until today. And you said to me, you know, I can only do so much until January. Yeah. Like I can only, I can only change, change so much, so much yeah. of like your attitude and our relationship. And I thought that was so interesting because I totally disagree. I think now is when you should be, since you're not working out and getting into your body, this is the time to move into your heart and move into your head and figure out like what changes you can be making internally. Okay, keep going. No, that's okay. Are you done? Okay, so basically, For now. here's what I meant by that is like, I am purposely putting my body and my mind through hell, right? And yes, I can still meditate, gratitude journal, like I can still do positive affirmations. There's still these things that can help. Will they be a miracle and just magically make up for the fact that I've been eating like crap every single day? I thought six you were times a day. say magically make up for no. me because I've been an asshole. No. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> you said it. So no, you I thought said that's it. what you were going to no, say. No, but basically like, it can't just magically override all the damage I'm doing to my body and my mind. Like it helps out a little bit. And that's why I'm saying I can be a little bit more consistent. I can be a little bit more consistent with doing those things and it might help slightly, but I'm, it, 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 like it's different. Like let's say someone's in the same situation that I am in, not doing it on purpose, but they're just not taking care of their health. Right. They've, they, it's been a hard year of 2020. They let their health go. They're eating like crap. They don't care. They're just like down, feeling down on themselves. <clears throat> it's like and they're, they're in a relationship and the spouse says to them like, you need to change. You need to make some changes. And if they said, well, I can't change any more than I've already changed. It's like, no, you can change your diet. You could sleep better. You could change your lifestyle. You could start meditating. You could start journaling. You could start eating healthier foods, start taking supplements, um, taking care of your physical health. For me, I literally can't take care of my physical health. I'm literally putting my putting junk food and poison into my body day in and day out. So those kinds of things, meditation, positive affirmations, and a gratitude journal will help out, but not as much as like you think, like, hey, you need to change. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, can't change, I can't fix my sleep necessarily when I'm drinking five beers at night. Right, but you can change your awareness. Okay, here's the question. A little bit, I'm a little bit, having. yeah. And here's what I'm thinking. Okay. You because think? you are doing this on purpose, should I be more, more forgiving yes. yeah. and more understanding? Or more yeah. like, no, you're doing this on purpose, so you should be doing the work and you should know that this is going on and you need to No, because this is a temporary changes. phase. This is a temporary phase. Like I know what I'm going through is, is temporary. It's like when, when a guy, because I've been married before with you know, my ex-wife, she was pregnant. Like I know that that phase of her being pregnant, her hormones are off. She's that's not as happy. I feel like Drew's pregnant. And so that's what I'm saying is like, I tell myself, okay, like I understand you're going through this, babe. Like, I got you. Like, I, I know this isn't always going to be this way. Yeah. So you throw that glass in my head, like, okay, that hurt, but I'll be okay. <laughs> like, I know you're just acting crazy because the hormones. I'm not a, So, oh, and oh, I know that it'll be over so soon. Good. Like there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, but then you explain. birth this a miracle of a baby that you have the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm getting a food baby, but this is what you signed up for. You knew that this was going to be a food baby. Okay, let's be real for a second. I don't think either <sighs> one of us knew it was going to be like this though. No, I, I know that it's hard. I've been through this But before. did you think it was going to be like this, this hard? Um, well, that's the thing. Like, I remember it being hard the first time. I think I just forgot how hard it was. And, you know, it can't compare apples to oranges. Like, I'm in a different place now versus when I was um, 10 years ago. You know, it was a different version of myself back then. You know, you're not my ex-wife and she's not you. So, like, it's different she situations. There's different, there's different stresses in our relationship versus stresses back then. Mm -hmm. like, there's a lot more pressure on me. Like I'm doing fit to fit to fit full time. Back then, I had a cushy job in the medical field. Mm -hmm. Fit to fit to fit wasn't this full time gig where I had a whole team of people, a CEO, an assistant, employees, like social media every single day. Like it was, it was a lot more of like less me on my phone camera time and um, more family time. Like, you know, we'd be together, I would be feeling miserable, but I didn't have to be on my phone all the time, posting social media, responding to comments, like all of that stuff. Now it's like a full-time gig of like my business that I still have to run on top of doing this to my body and my mind. So the stresses now are different than the stresses back then. So that's why it's, it's, it is harder in certain ways because I have more stress in my life. You know, like Biggie said, more money, more problems. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, I was being let's serious talk about that. That's a real <laughs> legit serious and thing. It's, no, I agree but, with that. Yeah. I do agree with that. But let's talk about social media. Now, okay. now that your body is different, do you think, I don't know what I think, do you think social media is affecting you in a more negative way now that you're looking at Instagram and you're seeing all these people working out of the gym, eating healthy foods, all the stuff that you can't do, do you think it's having, having a negative effect on you? It's a double-edged sword, of course, but is it having like this huge negative effect where I get so self-conscious seeing other people be fit? It kind of just, you know, yeah, in my mind it makes me miss it, but that's it. It doesn't But I like, think it makes you a little sad. It makes me a little bit sad for sure, like, but at the same time, it's kind of like when I'm running my 100 mile race and I get, and I sit down for a minute or two, like, yeah, that makes me sad that I won't be able to stay here and rest completely. I got to get up and move my ass, you know, for like to finish the 100 miler. So it's like a taste of like, oh man, yeah, this feels nice to relax, but I, I don't have time to relax forever. I got to get going. I got to get moving. So it's like a, it's like a, a temporary thing where I'm like, man, yeah, I wish I still looked like that, but oh well, eat some Twinkies and chug a beer and I got two more months of this. So... You know what I'm saying? We have two more months. So anyways, this past week, no, six weeks technically. So um, this past week, I gained four pounds on the scale, a uh, half inch in my waist and a quarter inch in my hips. Man, I, I feel like it's so big right now. But that's the thing. Is like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm, like when I see pictures of myself, I guess it doesn't look like that big. Yeah. No, you still look good. I still feel like um, what about now? you're a little more self-conscious than you are willing so to admit. Some I know. I mean, yeah. But my but, girls think, uh, my Kalea's like, you don't, you don't have any muscle, it's all gone. I'm like, I still have some Let's muscle. talk about the kids. How's this week been with the kids for you? It's been hard. They've um, made me uh, obviously upset a lot. I get upset at them because I'm like, you better do this, like, or else, like, I will just, like, I'm so mad. I get so mad. But then, like, Kalea told me the other day, she's like, I wish you would stop doing this, you know? And I did a confessional video, and Josh has access to that. And then when I was putting them to bed, Kalea was like, I want you to stop doing fit to fat to fit. Like, you're less patient with me. You're less patient with Julie. It's, it's hurting Julie's feelings. Like, um, yeah. so she said some things like that. And it just kind of broke my heart. It really did, to be honest with you. And it sucks because I feel like in my mind, I'm telling myself, like, you know, I'm not, I haven't changed that much. Like, yeah, I'm a little bit less patient. I'm a little bit more reactive to stress. But sometimes I question myself, like, am I really that bad? Am I really this horrible version of myself that is, you know, angry and mean? And I think all day yesterday, I felt like super negative about myself, about, um, you know, my relationship with Julie, I felt negative this morning as well, and it caused me to kind of uh, detach or disengage with my audience where I don't want to post anything, I don't want to be on camera, I don't want to be vulnerable, I just want to be angry, you know, and so crazy, like I just, it's weird because I feel like I'm a little bit losing control of like my positive thinking that I normally have. I did a little confessional video where I'm like, I feel like crap about myself because it hurts me when she says that because I know I'm a little bit different. I know I'm more upset or quicker to be angry with them and I'm less patient with them. But then she said, you're not as nice to Julie. She noticed that, um, which kind of broke my heart. Um, so yeah, I take that stuff seriously when she says that or you say that. And I know I'm changing a little bit. But um, yeah, that kind of stuff hurts because I know that I have to do this. She doesn't understand quite yet what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And of course, yeah, I'd like to go back to being healthy and fit for her right now. But she doesn't understand like how important this is to me. She will maybe one yeah. day. But, you know, I did make a good point to her the next day because um, I was trying to get her to listen to me the first time. I said, hey, just because I get mad at you for you not listening the first hundred times I told you to do something, you can't sure. blame fit to fat to fit on everything. Like, oh, that's because you're on fit, fat, fit. It's like, no, you're being disobedient. And I, I still have to get you to do things. And you don't listen until I yell. And so that's the same thing as it was before as it is now. Yeah. And so, but she just tries to say, like, oh, well, you're, 
getting upset at me because you're doing fit to fit to fit and and that's why i'm like no i still get mad at you if you don't listen to me like that there's still rules that you have to follow and you can't always just say oh well you're being mean so it's fit to fit to fit but yeah i think she kind of gravitates towards that yeah (sighs) how about um that reminds me the day after kalea said that to you the morning after Mm -hmm. you were pretty down yeah i didn't sleep all that night yeah and i asked you what you needed yeah and you said self-love because yeah. you don't feel like you love yourself right now. There's moments where I have that, you know. Yes, yeah. I love myself because uh, I know what I'm doing. But there's moments like when you're, when you're, you know, not. Um, Choose your words wisely. <laughs> when you and I are having like a, a, a break or like we're having like time away from each other and I know that you're not happy with me. And then my daughter says that and I'm not sleeping well and I'm like lethargic and not feeling my best yeah Yeah, there's moments where i'm not happy with who i am i think everyone goes through that Mm -hmm. do you feel like you're not happy with who you are because of like your hormone changes in your personality or do you think it's like tied to your body like you get up you look in the mirror hormones the way i feel you know um the body thing yes of course i would love to have less fat on me but it's more so just how i feel yeah like if i felt healthy at this size i could definitely be happy for sure if I felt healthy at this size, yeah. Like if I didn't get so winded and if I was sleeping really good throughout yeah. the night and I had high testosterone and, you know, high libido. <laughs> yeah. And Let's everything talk about that. and everything Let's talk about that. Looked the same down there <laughs> as it did before. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Sure, what do you want to talk about? There's a lack of fun things happening in that bedroom. Well There's a lack. I'll tell you why, because you decided to stay at home this week most of the time. And I stayed here with the girls. So we had some arguments. You stayed home. I stayed here. Of course, when you're separate. What I realized is better for us is sometimes me just saying, I'm going to let you give to yourself tonight. I don't need anything. But focus on giving that love to yourself. Okay. How do you... Do you disagree? No, I didn't say that. Oh, your face. No, I'm just listening. Yeah. So I've decided that's easier than me staying here and being frustrated <clears throat> with you. But even but. if I were here, there are some changes happening. And we're going to meet with Dr. Amy next week. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're going to meet with her, go over my blood work. Basically, I already update. know what it is. It's, And that's what men who are turning 40 or in their 40s or even 30s, some men in their 30s, this kind of stuff hits them because of their lifestyle. They're like, hey, just give me a pill. I don't want it change my lifestyle just give me a pill and i'll fix it that would it doesn't be fine fix too. it it really doesn't fix it um and we'll talk about that with dr amy so stay tuned yes. so any last words for this recap week 12 recap <laughs> right so 11, 11 weeks down six more to go in three days so we got this thank you guys see you guys next week and stay healthy stay safe see you